Thank you, thank you. Thank you for tuning in to the Nightcap with the Bowtie Guy. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about simple machines. This question says, what are simple machines and why do we use them? Great question. I think we can definitely answer that question in this video. Simple machines do work with one movement. There are six types of simple machines. The lever, the pulley, the wheel and axle, the incline plane, the wedge, and the screw. What is a simple machine? It is an object that does work with only one movement. What is a lever? The lever is a bar that is free to move around a fixed point called a fulcrum. Take a look at my scissors here. They are a great example of a lever. This is the fulcrum. This is the point on which a lever pivots. The blades of the scissors are a pair of wedges in a cross shape which pivot around a fulcrum. The attached handles are levers. When force is applied to the handles, it causes the bladed wedges to come together to cut an object from both sides. There are a ton of examples of levers in use, like me missing this ball, oh, like me trying to fix this faucet, or like me enjoying this wonderful steak. And just me passing out some papers, I'm actually using a lever. My arm is actually connected to my elbow and my elbow is acting as a fulcrum. Levers are everywhere. A crowbar, a spatula, a teeter-totter, a rake, a stapler, and a can opener. Those are all levers. What is a pulley? A pulley is a rope, belt, or chain wrapped around a wheel. As you can see here, the rope is connected to a turning wheel. This girl is using a pulley to lift a box. Have you ever ridden in an elevator? If you have, you have benefited from the use of the simple machine called a pulley. What is a wheel and axle? A wheel and axle is a large circular object that turns around a smaller object. This little girl is using a wheel and axle. Can you see where the wheel and axle is being used? The wheels on a bicycle act as a wheel and axle. <laughs> These days, you can see a wheel and axle anywhere. What is an inclined plane? An inclined plane is a slanted surface. Take a look at this young man. He is pushing a box up a ramp into a truck and making his work easier. That's the purpose of simple machines. Way to use that inclined plane. Woo! Here I am walking on this treadmill, but let me tell you, at any time this can become an inclined plane. I can raise it and increase the intensity of which I'm walking. This is a jackhammer. It's used to, well, jack up stuff. What is a wedge? A wedge is an inclined plane that moves. It is used to drive objects apart. The shovel that I'm using is used to wedge or to drive out other dirt to push it apart. By me using this chisel right here, I'm actually using a wedge. <laughs> I was trying to drive a nail into the wood and I had my finger. This person is using a wedge as a preventative measure. He's using safety to prevent this truck from rolling on him. Great job, person. Woohoo! What is a screw? A screw is an inclined plane that is wound around a cylinder to form a spiral. A light bulb is a type of screw. You have to screw it in for it to work. <laughs> that was definitely a hard lesson in how to use a screw. This little guy is using a screw right here. Well, that's our show. Thank you for tuning in. Mr. Horton, when you get finished, will you change the light bulb in the living room, please? No, 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 no! Hey guys, this is Mr. Horton from The Bowtie Guy. I'd love for you to follow me on Teachers Pay Teachers, Instagram, Facebook, or Pinterest. Make sure you check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com and make sure you check out our YouTube channel.